just arriving at what chalk very excited to be doing another episode of what's around today it's been a while excited to get in there here's a map as you can see it's southwest of Siem Reap City I've arrived at what chalk it's about well, just after 8 in the morning it was about a 15 minute ride here from home excited to get into it outside there's quite a bit going on and what you can see and let's go the sky is huge Bigfoot Beautiful day today. So, a lot of stupas here. Not as many as there were in that other one I visited. There's a funeral nearby, so you can hear a bit of chanting from that. Still. Um, probably classified as in the city here even though it's about 15 minutes from home you can go 15 minutes in some other directions and be uh, quite rural but as you can hear it's quite a bit of city life going on so many stupas let's go this way One day I'm going to come across a snake, I'm sure of it. Anyway, until that happens, I'll go on my merry way. Sorry, Dad. This is great. It's like a forest of them. Oh, that leaf litter is really deep down there. Hmm. Maybe I'll go around over here. Ah, yes, that's much better. Look at that. A glimpse of the main building just there. Let's go around here a little bit more before we get to the main event. It's nice to be out early in the morning for a change. Jeremy's off doing his alley cleanup. So I thought I should get up and do something as well. Been wanting to visit this particular watt for a while. So I'd seen some pictures online. It's got some interesting um, animal um, sculptures from what I could tell. There's a couple of bulls at the entrance. So I know this story now. This is the Buddha, before he became the Buddha, he was um, um, born into a noble family, like a prince almost, and his name was Siddhartha. He was um, very, very sheltered from the world. So he was just given really great food, entertained by dancers, kept inside the confines of the palace, and his experience of the world was really restricted. 
but he became curious about what was going on outside the palace walls so he got a chariot to take him around outside the walls of the palace and he found three things that he hadn't seen before so he found sickness old age and death and all the suffering that goes along with those things and that was what set him on the path to try and work out how um, humans could avoid suffering or could um, rise above it and that eventually became um, what we know as Buddhism today so when you see the chariot like this it's usually the depiction of him going out into the world and then there's usually three figures to represent um, sickness old age and death so that guy there is very skinny I don't know whether he's old age or sickness but the one with the vultures um, getting into that guy's intestines is definitely a representation of death yeah so that's an interesting thing anyway the Buddha was born in the Himalayas on the foothills of the Himalayas about 500 BC so yeah a long time ago look at the pretty eyes on these horses little eyelashes very cute all right Let's see what else we got here wow it's a tiger I think another one over this side don't know what he's holding there Hmm. Strange, not sitting astride the animal. It's got one leg kind of folded there. Interesting. All right. Get a load of that. Better go up, I suppose. Ah, a little bit overgrown up here and some grass. Pretty spectacular building though. I'll go around this way. It's normal streets around the outside. wonder what's at the back oh there's another building over there that looks pretty special this is quite big I think just the scale of this it's so tall beautiful breeze blowing through very pleasant Some monks coming through in a tuk tuk. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> You're quite cute. Hmm. What's going on here? It's playing some kind of musical instrument. Oh, several dogs. Hmm. the heck is that? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what that animal is. It's just like a, it's a bird, I think. It's very big and fat. Room for <laughs> three people. How odd. 
This is a story I don't know yet. It's like always a bunch of old guys gathered around. I don't know who it is. I guess it's the Buddha riding an elephant. When I find out, I'll let you know. There's a lot of fruits on this tree. Just fascinating how they grow from the trunk. So it makes sense because they're so heavy, but never seen fruits aside from these that grow directly on the trunk like that. Some nice painting up here. Have a look at this. Let's get out of the sun. It's rather hot. The last few days it's just ramped up temperature wise. All of these depict stories that I just don't know yet. I need to learn about them all. Oh, these. These seem to have dollar amounts worked into some of them anyway. That one's got 200 on the top right there. And then this one down here, 150. I wonder if you get to pick the story that you have against your donation. Oh, let's go up and have a look there. Wow. There's more people around in this what than I've ever seen. It's crazy. Oh, there's more inside here. It's quite dark though. You never know if you're going to find someone sitting in the corner when you come into places like this. A collection of Buddhas on the floor there. All different poses. This one here is calling the earth to bear witness. Um, the one with the two hands together is a meditation or prayer pose. There's standing ones with an arms bowl. Oh wow, this, this one's got glitter, this painting. I wonder if you'll be able to catch that. Yes, glitter paint. Have not seen that before. Jeremy would not like that. Look at that face. Really nicely done. This collection of people here. Lots of really nice detail in here. There's a reclining Buddha. I didn't realize this, but the reclining Buddha is always a depiction of the Buddha just before he died. Um, yeah, that's why the people that are looking on are always a bit sad. I thought this one was interesting with the um, fan switches in the middle of the picture. Some strange ear decoration they've got there. <laughs> if you look up here in the sky, <laughs> it's a little angel guy up there in the cloud. Cute. beautiful against that sky. I just took a bit of a detour on the way home and just came to this area. Loads of traditional houses. And this one's got... Oh! Jousting stick. Some very large cattle in the front. Lots of trucks on this road too. Oh, make me feel very small on my 50cc. They're upgrading the sewer system along this road. 
and periodically along the road are these big holes that have got bits of wood and stuff around them but it means that the traffic the traffic has to go around either side of it and <laughs> the state of the road on either side is pretty bad so try and stay off this road whenever we can but I have to ride a little bit of it just to get back to the other road that will take me home yeah certainly an experience this big truck coming up here oh a couple of big trucks thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye